Hello and welcome to uh, my C++ tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be learning about constructors. And um, if you don't know um, how to use a class in C++, I recommend you go look at my other tutorials or um, other tutorials before you even watch this one. So let's go ahead and name a class warrior. And under that I just like to put the int main before we even get started. System pause and return zero. All right, now we have the int main set up, so let's go ahead and start working in our class. So we want this class to be public, and let's just name two integers. Let's put integer health and integer power. So now that we have that, let's go ahead and work in our class warrior. So in this class, we want to name two integers: integer get health and integer get power. This is the constructor in C++ right here. Okay, you'll see how that works later on in this video. Just pay close attention. So now that we have that, uh, we're going to put our two brackets and um, we're going to put in between them health is equal to get health and power is equal to get power. Close that. Under that we're going to get our voids. Let's just put void attack and uh, in this thing we're just gonna put C out I am attacking and and the line and then we're gonna get another void called eat and we're just gonna put C out I am eating and the line and then below that we're gonna put void sleep and um, just gonna put of course I am sleeping and the line and that's it so now that we've made all these codings um, we're going to insert it in the int main. So remember that we declared a class called Warrior. So we're going to put Warrior and we're going to change the, the name of Warrior to Moose. Remember, you can do that. And in the parentheses for Moose, we're going to identify a value for integer get health and integer get power. So I want integer get health to be equal to 50. So I'm going to type 50. And I want integer get power to be equal to 70. So I'm going to type 70. So that's the whole basics of a constructor. And now you can see out in the screen something like my health is and you're going to put moose.health because remember if you watch the other tutorials the dot operator allows you to access any members in the moose class. So then we're going to put and my power is and we're going to put moose dot power so we gave him his power in that case let's go ahead and compile it so far hopefully I didn't make any mistakes so I just save and compile my health is 50 my power is 70 so that's how you use a constructor and if you're wondering oh well, let's see why do we have these voids right here well, voids are always nice to have because then you can also put a function for, for example, you can put moose dot, um, just pick a void. Let's say I want to use attack, moose dot attack, and then when you do put it in there, notice it's going to say I am attacking. And if you do put moose dot eat, and let's also add moose dot sleep. So now we're putting all of them. Then we compile and run. My health is 50, my power is 70. I am attacking, I am eating, I am sleeping. It's hard to do all three at, at the same time, but <coughs> but this this was a good tutorial. Um, uh, I hope I taught it well, and I'm glad you watched it. Again, if you had no clue about these, I suggest you watch some of my early tutorials. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.